Hey everybody, I'm Suzanne. In today's video, we're gonna paint a sheep -a doodle Now, it's another one of the doodly, doodly breeds. It's a poodle um, Old English Sheepdog mix, and her name is Luna. And as they say, tis the season, uh, I imagine I'll be doing several <laughs> several dog portraits in the next uh, uh, couple months here with uh, leading up to Christmas time. So uh, this was a commission from a, a friend that I've, I've actually done work for her before. And this is her son, Connor's dog, Luna. And I did Connor's dog, he, he had a, a beagle um, before, and I remember doing that one years and years ago. And so now we're doing Luna. And uh, she's, you know, being a sheepdog, she's got those that, you know, she's got a lot of hair over her eyes. And so if you've watched my videos before, you know I love how, 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 how I love doing the eyes. That's the best part. Well, in Luna's case, it's actually her smile. <laughs> We're gonna emphasize her smile just a little bit more because you can barely see your eyes. And you're gonna see in this video how quickly I just kind of knock out the eyes with a couple strokes because that's all I can see in the photo references. So I'm gonna show you the completed painting and you can see she's just a big, big uh, mop. Um, but, and then I'm going to show you the actual um, photo reference. And I'll be able to show you this photo reference a lot throughout the uh, the video. So, you know, thanks for joining me. If you are my subscribers, thanks as always. If you are my members, thank you very much for being there. And know that I do have a lot of fun perks coming up, even more adding to the membership on my YouTube channel. So check it out. I'd love to have you there. And uh, add this particular painting will also be available in its full length version on my Patreon channel. So go ahead and paint along with me today if you'd like, and we'll go ahead and jump into Luna's portrait. Here's the palette that we're going to start off doing this little doodly girl. We've got a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of burnt sienna and alizarin crimson, and that is mainly for tongue color. I've got um, doxazine purple, raw umber, ivory black, king's blue, titanium white, and yellow ochre. Now these are the colors I'm gonna use. This is gonna make up a lot of the whites on her. This is gonna make up lots of the blacks, and this is tongue, and basically, that's the color this dog is. That's all she is. So let's go ahead and jump into this little sweet girl. I'm just going to use a little bit of paint and I'm just gonna, it doesn't, it almost doesn't matter what color I'm using. So I'm grabbing, you know, one color I should have put down here on here was, um, was a, uh,
so I have to stand off of it a little bit to see everything. I can see always where I need to move out on pieces. So I'm just trying to get her shapes, the distance between here and here and, and so on. And there's some, some like little bit dark values in here. And also, too, I do not want any impasto in this yet. It's quite yellow in the top of this. So I'm just keeping this really soft at first. Got to, got to, got to keep it soft. Still wanting to move in the direction that the fur grows. See the light. There's a lot of light through here. I love her eyebrows. That's what's so cute. Now it gets a little bluer in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get grab some King's Blue. Thin here. That's a little, probably a little more than it should be in there. I'm kind of wipe my brush off a little bit, taking some raw umber. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of ivory black. So the thing is, this is basically a black and white dog, but you gotta get all the stuff in in the right place. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I'm still looking it over. If this is right, and that comes down here, this is going to come down here. And I'm trying to look what's behind her and I can't really see. So again, I'm make, mixing some Doxazine purple in with my ivory black here. sure that this is all her. And I will blur this out here. So I'm not going to worry about that so much. This is here. I'm looking at here. Let's go a little bit more here to this. This comes out a little bit here. I think we're good on this. Right, I believe this is basically the shape of the sweet little girl. And this ear is going to be lower. So some of that's coming off here. Nice handy dandy little paint scraper. Choop, choop. Comes about here, which kind of makes sense because it evens out to where her other ear is. when I actually start putting in her. This comes out a little bit more here on this side, but it should be equal. So we're gonna start working on a background color and I can make some corrections because I need to her ears to rev you know, be relatively level and they kind of are, but not really. I am going to, uh, I know that she's got a lot of these grays 
all through here. So this is gonna go up a little bit here. This is where her little smile is. It kind of goes up to about here. And um, I'm just gonna bring this down. all the I'm using the burnt sienna gray just give her some darker values in here I really do love painting on this substrate and I'm going to be fading out this area down here so I don't want to get too nuts and she does have if I come down here there's a lot of there's some of the dark here that's kind of popping through here and I'm, I'm not going to that'll be it okay so now we got to come up with a background color let's see what shall we do
we're back to Miss Luna. We've so we've had the weekend, and uh, so I haven't painted on her since. So I'm kind of looking at her, and I'm trying to make some adjustments. So I noticed I needed to bring this down a little bit because I'm looking at the distance between her eyes and her forehead, and I need to bring this down just a tiny bit. And I'm just kind of looking, just trying to get her, you know. Looking to see what needs to be changed. Um, and indeed, Luna is a sheep -a doodle I believe. So she's going to be a big girl. I think she was only like six months in this picture. I'm also adding a little oil because it don't really need to add a lot of paint. I just got to make sure everything is kind of where it needs to be. And I'm just bringing it up to the point. What's going on outside? It is very folly outside and it's beautiful. It's kind of, Singer and I had a nice walk today in the beautiful um, fall morning here. Let's see, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. This is about right, this kind of goes in. So we're gonna add a little bit of, so I'm grabbing a little, of, um, Kind of a gray that I've made with um, burnt umber, ivory black, and a little ultramarine blue. I'm just going to suggest that it's She is part um, Old English Sheepdog. I need to make sure that I give her the, the hair that she needs over here to keep it out of her eyes, you know, keep the sun out of her eyes. A lot of folks might say, well, she doesn't need all this hair in her eyes, but she probably does. Just kind of delineating where her head starts and her ear starts and all that good stuff. Now on the other side of her head, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more purple. Um, to my gray here. Again, delineating a little bit because this is the cool side of her face. Yes, since I've got that nice and wet, it's very subtle, but I'm just putting in little twirly doos. <laughs> I'm suggesting that there's fur in her ears, and I'm just kind of, it's really hard to see in the, um, the reference, but I know it's there, and, um, and that's what I'm adding here. Because if you've got a black and white dog, you've got to add the, uh, the detail where you can, even if it's subtle. side of her face a little bit more pronounced and I have I have my little brushes out so I will be uh, playing with those here in a minute since she is also a poodle I know that she's gonna have some curls here It's not very soft anymore. The the paint in the background's not very wet, so I don't want to challenge it too much. Um, I may just leave it just at what you see here. Okay. Now her eye is right in here. I'm gonna soften this up a little bit too. So where her bringing some of her hair down, the hair color. Remember I said I had to uh, drop some of this down. This is a little too much. A little 
little too much purple. I'm mixing yellow ochre and dioxazine purple. And I was just making too, a little too much. So I'm bringing this down here. And there's gonna be kinds of other color in here. So this is coming over here. Bring this down a little bit more. She's gonna have some little bang, not bangs, eyebrow hair <laughs> that's gonna come down over this way. But I can't really put that in yet until I get into the lighter colors. And I just wanna make sure that all my, everything's falling into place. Everything looks like it's falling into place. So I, so I actually needed to widen her out a little tiny bit here. And when I add these lighter hairs in here, it will, it will, it will work. So I'm taking a little ivory black here. And I will have to use some, do some small brush work pretty soon. So there, this is coming out a little bit more here. <laughs> big dog is he's watching for me he always keeps me safe big old boy so I was working on this video over the weekend what I had done so far and I was also working on my video for my patreon channel of part two of Harper so if you are a patreon person or you'd like to be you might want to Go hop on over and see what I got over there on uh, um, my Patreon channel. So sometimes I'm working on two things at once. Now I have to be careful because I don't want to get I'm trying to knock down any impasto lines. Now this is her lit up side of her face. It's kind of funny because I have my light source for outdoors is coming in this way too. So this is a little bit wider. And I have to, I kind of need to, uh, I'm going to take a clean brush and it just happens to be a, a I'm just grabbing it because it's available, but it's a uh, sword. I need to have some wet surface to work into. Because if I don't, it's going to look weird. My angle's a little off here, too. So I'm going to wet this down just a little bit. It's very, it's very much a fall day here in Kingsport, Tennessee today. Singer and I had a wonderful walk. Um, we can smell the leaves. The leaves smell good. They make that crunchy sound when you're walking, although they were a little damp today, and I'm reminded that we need to enjoy all this beautiful color while it's still here because it won't be here very long. Okay, I just needed to wet that down a little bit. And I'm just grabbing a little bit. why I needed it to be wet.
I'm mixing a little bit of the King's Blue in with this color, this gray that I'm using, so that it makes sense, that it doesn't look like it, you know. I always, <laughs> I hate to use this, this term all the time, which I do, but it's the severed head look. I don't like it when people just cut off. So I like to fade it, and um, that's what I've done here. that nice green color I made up a little while ago, the green gray. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that and start working around her mouth. I'm going right underneath here. And I'm just going to soften this up. This might be the wrong brush for it. I'm just going to go in with this. Just need to lighten it up here.
Okay, so now I'm gonna have to make a couple corrections. And I'm looking where things are in relationship to other things. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. There's gonna be a make a little black area here, a little hole in that that hair. I'm just using the little number one ivory filbert. Just kind of cut, carving out some areas here. Now, green. I'm gonna put some of that in here too. It doesn't translate as green. I still have to keep going in the direction that hair grows. There's a lot of white that will be in there. But for now, I'm gonna carve that in right there. Now this black area. Alright, there's a lot of a yellow, more of a yellowy light area here. the shapes correct so sometimes even now I'm still looking for a shape um, and I'm talking about like this dark area right here based on the fact that she's got this she's got hairs that are coming up this way and there's another hair that goes that way So I'm always looking for different values too. this side of the ear before I get all in here because I think this will be the last area that I do. So, so I've got this neat little purpley gray here. I'm going to soften up some of the area over here because it's I've already got it nice and wet. So I'll put 
put some of these lighter values in and then I'll put some more dark values back in too. Feeling good about our little ear here. I'll go back, put some more dark back in here. That's my mailman. This dog has no eyes, but it's really hard to see her eyes, even in the uh, the um, photo reference. So I'm going to put in what I see. Because unlike most of my paintings, this one's not about eyes. I think this one's about the dog's smile. And so I'm looking where her sclera is. And her sclera is about right here. And I see this, you know, just this little shape here. And... to put her shine in and it goes like that <laughs> so very slowly she'll get some some kind of eye now her color of her eyes she's got a brownish eye but it's, it's very, very hard to see the actual color. Since I have black down, I'm gonna see what happens if I just, this is probably a little, that may all, all be <laughs> the amount of eye that she has on over here. Um, said this this particular painting is not that much about eye um because she's gonna have a lot of hair or you know coming down over the top so yeah that might be all the eyes she gets there um <laughs> that's it <laughs> you saw the eye that was it um because when I start pulling the hairs over I'm gonna I'll, I'll probably firm some of the actual um oops there's a Brown is trying to get away from me here. I think something I may do for myself today is order some new brushes. Um, as you all know, I do get all my brushes are from um, Rosemary. And sweet Simmy posted a picture of herself with her baby bump, and it's so exciting. Just a very, that's that's what we're gonna see of the eye. That's it. Now I'm gonna be pulling some hair over it and I'll be getting there. And I, I kinda wanna do that now. I'm gonna start pulling some hair. And this is gonna calm down. Let's see if I do this right. colors are a little bit grayed down. So I'm taking my 
brush here going from here and just suggesting that and I'm trying to put a little bit of hairs in here. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I can't talk because I'm thinking. I can't tap. <laughs> So I'm getting close to that place where I have to take a step back, kind of look, see where there's little like light hairs or something that I've missed. Um, it was just like a little light, lighter hair in here that I. And this probably rolls a little bit. like a little bit of a where's that little oops a little too much Sue there's a little bit of white to it especially right here Miss Luna may be finished. And Luna is finished. I <laughs> I had a ball with this. I mean, here you can see the reference that I worked from and she she's adorable. She is absolutely adorable. Um, you can see that the palette, um, of course we have a lot of the background. I just, I used, I'm sorry. I used straight King's Blue for the background. Now, um, I didn't get any instruction from my client as to what they really wanted. They're really awesome and just kind of let me uh, do my own thing. So I really do like how she turned out. The, um, you, can see, you can take a look at the colors here and, and it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know what we started with, you know how I mixed them. Uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. If you have any questions about anything that was covered in today's video, just give me a holler, uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll get right to you. Um, this is also going to be on Patreon, so be looking for it there if you're one of my patrons. And uh, know that we've got some live streams coming right up for my YouTube members. So, until next time, see ya. This was a lot of fun. I loved her little smile. And I loved, you know, of course, if you know me, I love contrast and a black and white dog. Hello, there's all kinds of contrast there and then be able to play with her hair. Uh, this was a fun piece and I just really, really loved her smile. So here, here you go again, here is the finished piece. And I am hoping that Connor is gonna be very, very happy with his portrait that his mom and dad had commissioned me to do of Miss Luna. So thanks again for joining me. And if you have any questions at all about anything you saw in today's video, don't, don't hesitate to ask, leave it in the comment section and I'll get to you. Um, and if you have any other, ah, you know, right now I probably will be doing a lot of dogs and cats perhaps, 
But if there's something else you'd like to see me cover in one of my videos, go ahead and leave that in the comment section too. I love getting to know everybody who uh, chimes in on the conversations here on my YouTube channel. So that's always fun. Uh, don't forget, check out my membership. Lots of fun stuff happening there. And also my Patreon channel. So until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.